Do you smell that, guys? That's the smell of freedom, by the way. So if you don't smell it, I'm just told you. So happy 4th of July, guys. Uh, you guys be safe out there. Have fun this weekend, uh, this week, if you're off the act for the actual 4th. Um, I'm Jason from Damascus Outdoors. We are actually in Damascus, Virginia today, uh, where, where we actually got our YouTube name from. So we are going to try to catch some smallmouth today, see how well that goes. Uh, this is a spot that I have been to but it's been years and years since I've been here before but I have caught smallmouth out of here um, actually pretty decent sized smallmouth so I figured we give it a shot today since I was off work and the rest of the week I have off work so we're gonna try to get you a couple adventures in with that being said uh, let's get to it This, uh, this trail that I'm actually walking is called the Creeper Trail. Uh, just an FYI for you, this is a rails to trails uh, that they have made from Damascus, uh, for a while, I guess from White Top to Abingdon, which is 34 miles. And what you can do is um, you can actually ride bicycles or walk, or I think you can ride a horse on it too as well. So just a little FYI for you guys, if you're new to the area, uh, you are more than welcome to Come check this trail out. It's it's really nice. It's peaceful, especially up from White Top down to Damascus. It's a very very nice, cool, calming ride for you. Oh my gosh, there are spider webs galore through here. It doesn't look like anybody's been down through here in a long time. This has grown up so much. Here's the trail. Holy moly donut shop. Yeah, it hasn't been, hadn't been used in a while. There used to be a clear path through here, now there's grown up trees, weeds. Yeah. Okay, finally made it through. A little clearing, got all that junk to walk through, a lot of spiders, but hopefully it's well worth the trip there. Now, if you can see the river way over there, that's where I'm going to go. But I've got to cross this, go over this island, and get to the next one. So, even right here kind of looks like a pretty good spot to fish. But we're going to try to hit this backside first. Alright guys, creek crossing number one. Woo I don't have felt on my shoes, it's all rubber, so everything here is so slippery. kind of just have to wiggle your foot down into the rocks and trying to get a firm grip especially in this current I probably could have went up a little ways but it's kind of a shortcut and it's not that that deep it's just swift Oh, there we go, guys. All right. All right. Oh, it's wanting to fight. It's in that current. Man, these guys are fighters, yes. Beautiful smallmouth. Beautiful. Come on, buddy. Yes. Good chunk. Good, good chunk. First smallie of the day come at 
8 13 in the morning on the ned rig guys freaking awesome look at the color on this guy uh, let's put this guy back So for those of you that haven't used the Ned rig or are new to it, it's a simple, simple process. Uh, wacky worms, just cut them in half. Now they do make a Ned rig styles where it's like pretty much this bait, but I think it's more bang for your buck if you can just get the wacky worms, just cut them in half like this. Um, get you a shroom head, something with like a little flat bottom to it, well not a flat, but like a round bottom, kind of make that bait kind of stand up and uh, simply take it, just feed it through you're going to run it around the hook uh, running around the bend right there and give it to about almost the middle of the shank see we're about almost to the middle right there give it about to the middle of the shank before you protrude the end of the hook out then you can start to pressure uh, bait all the way through and that right there is a Ned Rig style bait Another little, little little guy, but that, I mean, the bellies. Look at the belly on that guy. He's got a good little belly. Whoo, awesome. There we go. All right. Come to Papa. All right. Where you at, buddy? Yeah, stay down. Whoo! That is the fattest red eye I've ever caught. Dear God. Oh, my God. Look at that red eye. That thing is huge. Look at that, guys. Dear jeez. And look how fat this red eye is. Uh, that is insane that's got to be my pb red eye he's trying to bite me of all time that is outrageous five nine over half a pound i'm sure i'm sure they get bigger than that but that is a crazy crazy fish let's let this guy go okay guys uh i've only caught three fish over here at this hole that i'm at right now um i'm actually gonna go 200 yards down this way uh, to a deeper kind of more it's it's more swift I guess you could say it's definitely got a current to it but I know I think that I know that there's fish there I'm going to throw a Ned rig up in the shoals and let it kind of bounce down into the deeper part of the water and hopefully hopefully one of them guys will bite that so let's get going I got to cross the creek again or the river whatever you want to call it uh, hopefully I don't fall in uh, let's get over there
Okay, guys. Got to go. Uh, packing up right now. Um, caught four fish in about four hours. The Ned Rig was the best setup for today. Um, I caught the red eye on a white grub with a white jig head. And I caught one little smallmouth with the uh, Rebel Crawl. So there was a variation of lures that I used today. There wasn't really one specific one that dominated more than the other. Just the Ned Rig caught two. I'm sure if I would have stayed out longer, I probably could have got more uh, with a different bait as well. So, uh, guys, don't forget to hit the subscribe button, like, comment, uh, what you guys want to see. Uh, don't forget to hit us up on social media, Facebook, Instagram. Uh, we, you know, we try to post as much as we can. And uh, we love you guys. This is Jason from DO. I am out.